more stuff. We'll yeah. check them out. <laughs> yeah. So now we got VV versus Fury. Okay, I want to talk about VV for a second. Because I, I was thinking about this after I was talking to the Kill Sage. Uh -huh. And I think he's one of the characters. He's one of the most. He has grown the most, I think, in like the past couple yeah, of years. Uh, I, he is, I remember he used to be like. Did not even make a dent. Garbage, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't want to see it. <laughs> Vivi's definitely uh, one of the players who has like a, a Xeno storyline where like yeah. he's he hasn't won a Xeno yet, but uh, he, he keeps getting so close. His rate of ch like he he's still on like an upward. Uh, his numbers are positive. Yeah. Right. Dill won last week, right? No, Dill lost last week. If Dill won the, last the week, it would have been Dill Tober. I missed the oh, Xeno yeah. that Dill lost. Yeah, you did. Oh, we'll talk about it later. Time for Dill to win this one now. Yeah, exactly. 100% <laughs> of the tournaments that Aussie commentates. I always Dill get Dill win. wins. Why wow. did I miss the one that he did? Deltarune came out. I couldn't help myself. Xeno win, bro. Okay. Anyway, too spooky. <laughs> okay. So, Vivi only taking 60 damage. That's really good because, like, Lucario doesn't have, like, the best normals. Like, he has to, like, be really tricky with his movement. And, and like, a character that can brute force, like, Falcon, like, that's pretty good. Yeah. And Fury's no slap either. Like, Fury's, like, a, I would say one of the top Falcons out here next to, like, Nixie. Mm hmm So we got definitely someone who knows what they're doing. But Vivi just kind of playing his game. You know, try to get that punish on that roll. Nice. Follow-ups. And Vivi's just doing a fantastic job of just mixing the crap out of Fury. Like, you see him, like, just falling down onto the sides against him. Mm -hmm. It's the grab again. And he's not overextending either. Like, every single time he sends him flying, if he notices that he's not going to get that uh, second hit of the combo, he backs up. He waits to see what Fury's going to do. He's playing very reactionary. Okay, now at this point, you'll notice that Vivi's going to be going for these uh, neutral B charges mid-air. It allows him to be able to connect them into an up smash. Fury able to fall out of that. Might have been some DI action going on. Okay, no one wants to commit. Just throw it, the, I mean, throw it out so you can get this charge back. You'll notice that Vivi, whenever he gets a fully charged Aura Sphere, sometimes you just shoot it for the heck of it just so you can go back to charging so they can lead into another up smash. Oh, yeah. I, the charging of Aura Sphere has a lot of utility because it's... Oh, my God. He tried God. to roll away, but maximum distance or after boost. All right. That I'm, I'm uppercut. Not, I'm not going to say this often, but... Um, Fuck that move? Yeah. Um, wow! Yeah. I actually hate that wow. move. Wow! It caught his entire room. No! I, I'm <laughs> okay. upset. Okay, but he's fine. hold on. Uh. Fury, chill. This story's supposed to be about BV. What are you doing, bro? Uh. What are you doing? BV storyline, no! <laughs> Sorry, your phone <laughs> user. God. Can we get can we get both of them in? Oh God. I God I, damn it. I I <laughs> Exclamation point Falcon guys. Just no! Oh god, here it comes! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, game two. Oh, uh, I see god. we're still <laughs> I <sighs> oh, okay. Yeah, game two. Yeah. Just starting it up again. That game one did not happen. But yeah. right now, but the, the, in reality, Fury is carrying that momentum. Yeah, I mean, like, he. That's the thing. Fury's movement, I think, is really good. Like, he has some good decision making. Uh, and that's something, like. Like when you're when you move as fast as Falcon and you can get gimped like Falcon, like you you need to be aware of a lot of things at the same time. Uh, and I think that Fury's like movement is really good to like make you uncomfortable because it makes it that he doesn't have to commit to button inputs and he can just use movement inputs to just be like, well, well, damn. Yeah. Meanwhile, it forces the opponent to want to get to one another. No. We just what the, deja vu. <laughs> Hello. Literally the exact same thing. I, I love Fury. Fury is my son. I really love... I, I hate... I hate the forward boost, but... Or the rapid boost. I hate it, but... Uh, God damn it, Falcon. Wow, oh, yeah. he just did not even care. I mean, Vivi went for that charge, expecting Fury to dash forward, but he just stood still and reacted completely. Seeing that Falcon at 145, Vivi's got to get rid of the stock. Uh, See him trying to apply some shield pressure. He's still chilling. Again, 
Doesn't want to overcommit. He realizes that he's at 145%. And just like that, I mean, that's why he didn't want to commit. It's got that neutral B coming out. Easily to get gets the opponent stuck in it into an, a confirmed up smash. Yeah. Bad spot for BB. Okay. Rolls right behind him. A daring roll, if I may say. Gets another grab. Already racking up a ton of damage. Just like that, he stole the lead. Okay, applying some shield pressure. Gets out of there. He shot the ball that time because he was expecting Fury to go for a jump out of shield. Or just to cover it. Oh my god, I'm done. No! Oh my. Oh my. Just look at him go. And I'll see his left, guys. I'm sorry. Or you're welcome. It really depends on what your views are. But I won't let him know uh, when he comes back. Cause, you know, I think he's pretty okay. <laughs> uh.